apologies for the, uh, the late start, but um, welcome to, uh, to everybody to this uh, cabinet meeting. Um, I'm going to start with the uh, first item, which is members' code of conduct, declarations of interest. Any members of the cabinet wish to declare any interest? Stuart. Thank you, Chair. I would like to declare personal interest in relation to the Joe Jackson Town and the Supervisor of 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 the Around the themes of the monitoring framework, 
the carriers' contractual relationship with care homes, encouraging excellent standards and sharing good practice, and feedback and performance managing, monitoring. Sorry. Within the many recommendations are items to pr promote good practice for care home ma managers, to give them guidance, making explicit the council's expectations and encouraging the sharing of that good practice. The panel also proposes a forum facilitated by DAS for care home managers to share that good practice. There are recommendations about better sharing of information when residents need to attend hospital so that information comes with them from the care home about their individual preferences and needs as well as medical data. And recommendations to embed the compassion in practice guidelines which arose from the Francis Review within the care home context. The members want to recommend that the health performance monitoring panel, which is a, a part of the Families and Wellbeing Committee, should examine data on care homes, and also that suitable data should be shared with constituency committees so that local members can play a part in being eyes and ears in these care homes. I do hope the Cabinet will accept the report, and as you know, the Policy and Performance Committee will monitor the recommendations over time to check progress. I hope that we can work together to see the improvement in the care and support of our most vulnerable residents in Wirral. Thank you. Thanks uh, for that, Wendy, um, for taking us through what I think is a, an excellent report. I'm, I'm going to ask Councillor Chris Jones, our Cabinet Member for Adult Social Care and Public Health, to um, add a few, a few comments. Thanks, Chris. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you really to, to Wendy, to the Moira, and Mike for the, the new part of this, 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 this report. And I, I know it took a, a, a huge amount of hours to, to do the work. Um, <coughs> it's a really valuable report. It's something that um, I think all of us would want in, 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 in the case. And I'd like to thank you as well for the, the opportunity for myself and, and the director to be here on the, the staff of meeting together so that the recommendations actually make sense. Um, and I know Trey has got some work to do after the report, but it was a really good work from the community panel and I'd like to say thank you again for it because I think it's just something that we can really move forward on. Okay, I mean, I, I think again, just to add to that, I think that there's no no question in my mind that Cabinet should um, support the recommendations, uh, Wendy. Um, I, I noticed that there will be a um, uh, an update report to the scrutiny committee on the progress against the recommendations. I think it would be useful if if we could have a copy of that as Cabinet as well, just to you know, just to, to keep an eye on whether the actions that you've um, recommended are, are actually being delivered. So uh, I hope we could um, we, we could do that. But um, generally speaking, I thought this was another excellent example of um, you know the effectiveness of of, some, of, a, of a really good um, sort of scrutiny review panel. So um, unless there are any other comments, can I suggest that we we thank. Um, the, we thank Wendy and the panel for, for their report, we support the recommendations and we ask for the, the update report when it's, um, uh, it's been produced for the scrutiny committee. So can I suggest we agree those recommendations? Yeah. Agreed? Thanks Wendy. Thank you. Okay. okay. Right, okay, so we'll go back to the, um, the agenda and um, on to uh, the items uh, in my name. I, item three, just to um, announce the National Domestic Rate Special Relief Report has been withdrawn. Um, so I'll go straight on to item four, which is the council budget for 2015-16. Uh, to 17, 18, and I'll just say uh, a few a few words um, on, on this report, um, which I think is quite a I, I think I would call it quite a sobering report on the uh, financial challenges ahead um, over the next three years. Um, clearly, as the, uh, the report mentions in paragraph 2.4, we've um, we've got. Seven